we run quite a, uh, a rigorous uh, pre-deployment training, which we do some training in New Zealand to get us up to a so individual standard, and then we do some collective training, which is uh, working together as a team, and then we deploy here to Australia to do the integrated training with the Australians. Uh, working with the Australians is, uh, is an excellent opportunity to be working together. Um, we both bring a uniqueness to the, to the, uh, to the deployment, uh, and we bring some, some unique strengths, which are great to uh, enhance our capabilities. As part of Operation Manawa, it's a um, building partner capacity of the Iraqi security forces. So we're providing um, soldiers to go to Iraq and uh, train the Iraqi security forces um, to be able to fight and operate in their own country. So we're deploying soldiers to uh, Iraq to build their capacity to be able to treat the uh, threats in their country. Um, New, New Zealand has a long, proud tradition of a warrior ethos. Um, and we, we've really adopted that within the New Zealand Army to, to strengthen our capability to uh, enhance those aspects of our culture, which uh, are what I call force multipliers on the battlefield. And that gives us a real strength and an ability to operate, to engage with foreign nations. Um, and it's something that only we as New Zealanders can bring. It's something we're very proud of. As the Land Component Commander, I have the best job in the New Zealand Army. I see outstanding New Zealanders get trained, led and equipped to go over and do amazing things around the world. Um, I've never felt prouder in my military career.